Shio, it's time to hop back into our Colors of the Rainbow series. But first, let's do some review on what colors we've talked about so far. Do you remember what the first color was? It included fruits and vegetables like these yummy radishes, these fresh potatoes, and these ripe strawberries. Do you know what the color is? If you said red, wonderful. Remember, red fruits and vegetables are said to help our hearts stay healthy. Now for the next color. Can you remember what color came after red? It included fruits and vegetables like these juicy oranges these bright pumpkins, and this tasty mango. Have you guessed it yet? It's the color orange. That was too easy, huh? Remember, orange fruits and vegetables are said to help our eyes stay healthy. Now, do you remember what color we talked about last week? Think really hard. It included fruits and vegetables, like these delicious bananas, these tasty looking corn on the cobs, and these pineapple tidbits. What color do these have in common? If you said the color yellow, you did an amazing job. Remember, yellow fruits and vegetables are said to help our memory and help us as we get older. Now, do you know what color could be next? This week, we'll talk about the color green. First, let's spell the word green together. Let's sound it out first. Green. The first letter makes the G sound. What letter makes the G sound? It's the letter G. Great job. Now, the next letter makes the R sound. Which letter makes the R sound? If you said R, you got it. Now, these next two letters make the E sound. Which letter makes the E sound? It's the letter E. Almost done. Our last letter makes the N sound. Which letter makes the N sound? If you said N, awesome. Now let's spell it together. G, R, E, E, N. We just spelled green. Now, let's learn the Cherokee word for green. It's atsehi. Can you say it with me? Atsehi. One more time. Atsehi. Good job on those last two activities. You did fantastic. Now, what green fruits and vegetables can you think of? To start off this long list, we have lettuce in the green vegetable category. Spinach is another green leafy vegetable. Have you ever had cabbage? It's a very popular green vegetable. Collards are also green and leafy vegetables. Brussels sprouts are also green vegetables that look just like tiny green cabbages. Kale is another green vegetable, and they can even be turned into chips. Bok choy is our last green leafy vegetable on this list, but what about some non-leafy vegetables? Celery is a green vegetable that is crunchy and juicy. Asparagus is a green vegetable, and when you eat the top, you're eating flowers. Isn't that cool? Broccoli is another green vegetable where you are actually eating flowers. Those are some tasty flowers. 
Leeks are a green vegetable that have a taste like onions. Ramps are making the list as a green vegetable for their mildly flavored green tops. Now for the fruits. We'll kick it off with some green apples. Green tomatoes are sometimes eaten and enjoyed for their unique flavor. Here is a green kiwi. Have you ever had a kiwi? And for a fourth week in a row, peppers make this list once again. Green beans taste like vegetables, but are actually a green fruit. Grapes can also be green, and these green grapes sure do look good. Zucchini is a green fruit that can be cooked in many ways or just chopped for a tasty snack. Peas are also green, and some can be eaten with the pod. Limes are tart and very juicy. Cucumbers are also green, especially on the outside, and are very refreshing. Avocados are a unique green vegetable with one very large seed in the middle. And last but not least, we have green pears. How many of those green fruits and vegetables have you had? Now, let's learn how green fruits and vegetables help our bodies. Green fruits and vegetables are said to make our teeth nice and strong. And they are said to help our bones stay strong too. So, which green fruits and vegetables will you try this week? There are lots to choose from. And that's the end of the green lesson. What do you think the next color of the rainbow is? Until next time, dona dego ha'i.